Nobody wants to ride a bus. They don't want their kids on a bus because they never know where, when they're going to get home. That's becoming the story of this week. This important week of the return to school continues. Busing issues with JCPS causing a new headache for parents. Long pickup lines of cars. Take a look here. Valleys and families in Valley Station telling us they are waiting almost an hour to pick up their students. Well, some families we talked with tonight say they just don't trust the buses. Instead, switching their kids to be car riders after the transportation disaster on the first day of August night. Tonight, JCPS says all bus riders were dropped off by 7.13 p.m. tonight. That's 35 minutes earlier than the final drop-off time last night of 7.48. Well, WHS 11 night teams Taylor Woods and photojournalist Emma, Emma Gefter spoke with families tonight still having issues. You saw those long lines, cars and buses wrapped around some of those schools, Taylor. Yeah, well, Doug, some parents and grandparents tell me the car rider lines are getting longer as many parents have fear for their students on the bus ride to and from home, but they aren't the only ones. One parent with students with special needs says she feels ignored since they have still not been assigned a bus this year. In Valley Station, long lines of waiting cars. They are bumper to bumper. Anxious parents waiting outside of Medora Elementary School. Cars full of parents, grandparents, and guardians. And there is a cross guard down there. They're doing the best they can, but it's just nobody wants to ride a bus. They don't want their kids on a bus because they never know where, when they're going to get home. The car line is long because there's one way in and one way out. Because our parking lot's so small, we can't get all the car riders in the parking lot. Leaving car riders with no choice but to wait. Well, yesterday I waited an hour and 15 minutes just to, as, a car, as a car rider. Wow. <laughs> it's that bad. And yesterday I was in here for about 40 minutes. Some grandparents like Keith McDonald are just hoping Jefferson County Public Schools work out the long bus rides very soon. I just wish they would take care of it so my, my grandson could get back on a bus and I could meet him at the bus stop instead of picking him up every day. But other parents across the city feel left in the dark. It seems like we've been ignored, but nothing's really been talked about about our special needs kids. Courtney Sclair of Linden has two JCPS high school special needs students at the Phoenix School of Discovery on Wood Road. They have not been assigned a bus. The first time I ever heard from transportation was yesterday for the first time like and they just they offered me a gas card to help me out until they can provide us transportation. Sclair says she wasn't given an estimated time frame when her children will have a bus, but she's hoping the commute to and from school is just a temporary fix. It's not just about the, about the reimbursement for gas money. It's the time taken away from work for me and my family to help out and do this when they're supposed to be providing the transportation to begin with. Now, one of those parents I spoke to say they will put their students back on the bus once the bus issues are resolved. In studio, Taylor Woods, WHAS 11 night team on your side.